Thank you, Andy. Kim Mudge to get the proceedings underway. And it's Tintin serving first. Tintin wearing the black. Jasmine with the red back at this end. Both right-handers. Tintin playing with the penhole grip. Jasmine playing with the shake hand grip. And in the commentary box, delighted to have back Evie Collier, who is Performance Logistics Officer at Table Tennis England, England player and England coach. So she's been around these players for a long time. Tintin largely as a competitor. And Jasmine, you've done some coaching with Jasmine as well. Yeah, I remember coaching Jasmine when she was around under 13. So she's been similar to Tintin around a long time. Lots of experience, so it should be a good match. 3-1. Yeah, so we think of Jasmine as um, being much younger, but she's 20 years of age now and out of the juniors, certainly. And she's got to make it in the big time. <laughs> but wonderful to see her in the Four final. One. Her first semi-final in the, in the uh, singles. Made it, of course, to the final of the women's doubles this time as well with Mari, who she beat in the quarterfinals of the singles. So Jasmine's had a great competition so far. And she'll s we'll see if she can make a dent in the five times national champion, Tintin Ho. Top 100 player quite often uh, in the world. And Jasmine, her chance to have a good go. See if she can put herself in the big time. Yeah, definitely. Jasmine's demonstrated many times she can really compete against the likes of Tintin as well. So it'll be really interesting to see how she sort of handles it. You can see in the corner as well, uh, Mate isn't coaching just because they're both University of Nottingham students. So, yeah, Mate won't be cornering Jasmine for this one. Thanks, Evie. Great. Yeah, an empty corner. 7-2. Mm. Mm. Well, a solid start for the champion. Tintin's the holder. And she doesn't let go easily, does she? No, she doesn't. <laughs> Two eight. So we were looking at who else is a multi-women singles champion. Of course, the great Jill Hammersley Parker here today in the uh, audience and wife of Don Parker. She's won the championship seven times, more than any other woman Two ever. Nine. Um, so great to see Jill. Um, Mary Shannon, Mary Wright, Mary Shannon six times. And then five times we have Tintin and Kelly Sibley and Nicola Deaton and Andrea Holt. So let's Lovely. see if Tintin can go ahead of that record of that mm. group today and become the, the, the clear third best ever from an England English National Championships point of view. At the moment it's going okay at 9-3. Two serves to win this set. There's the first one. 10-3. Jasmine looks a little bit more nervous in this match. Do you think? Yeah, mm. just a little bit. It's lonely out there when you're playing someone <laughs> that good that's playing very well. 4-10. Mm. Tintin, a number of finals under her belt, so she's probably very used to this, whereas this is Jasmine's first singles final. Yeah, unfamiliar territory. Mm. But it's great for her to be learning this. Puzzling out for herself. That probably Second won't do her any harm. Wong to serve. Love all. Great experience for Jasmine. Mm. Jasmine serving at the beginning oh, no. of this second game. Just settling herself. Tintin wasn't quite ready, so... Jasmine gave herself a bit more time. Maybe a little unforced error there. Yeah, just a little bit of rushing off on the shots at the moment. Both play at the University of Nottingham, as we mentioned earlier, so both know each other's games very well. So, yeah, at the moment, Tins looks very much in control, but we still have a number of sets to go. Mm-hmm. How did you used to get on against Next. Tintin when you Two were one. younger? I mean, she was uh, she was a lot tinier back then, um, and again, she still had that those aggressive shots, very difficult to play. Yeah. Um, 
with the pimples on the forehand as well, so it makes it everything a lot flatter. So you have to re do a lot of work to uh, to win that point. Yeah. So as you say, the pimples, both players playing with mm. um, high friction pimples in rubber on one side, but pimples out on the other side, short pimples. Um, typically, uh, Jasmine's playing with the pimples on the backhand. You can see the red side there. And typically, Tintin playing with the pimples again on her red side, mm. uh, which she normally uses on the forehand. Yeah. So a different, different way of approaching them, approaching yeah. the game between these two players. So there's the smooth side, pimples turned inwards into the sponge and then the blade behind it. Four, three. Nice rhythm there from Tintin. Mm. Serve, backhand, forehand attack. Nice fifth ball attack routine. And I think Jasmine needs to be picking that up. Leave it to come longer and spin it maybe. Easier said than done. It may not be successful if you do it, but I think that she's just got to get in a little bit more. Yeah. The serve is long enough for topspin sometimes. She's in with that one. Three nice six. block from Tintin. It's so long into the corner. Yeah. I think the, the great thing about Tintin is that whether it's a counter or slower spin, she's always ready for that next ball. 7-3. Seven, three. Seven, three. Yeah. Heavily side spun backhand, maybe with even a bit of backspin on it. Mm. Smooth, isn't she? Four eight. Oh, yeah, fast Five, serve, eight. good follow up. Tintin looking to the skies for a bit of inspiration, maybe telling herself off a little bit. Unlucky Jasmine, Nine, working away well. I thought she might be getting back into this game. Nine, five and serving. So Tinta will be looking for both of these on her serve. <laughs> Not quite. Nine, six. Good. Jasmine's just struggling a little bit with that faster pace at the moment. Yeah, it's fast and heavy topspin as well, isn't it? <laughs> okay, game point. Oh, Jasmine. Oh, Seven, ten. I thought she'd done enough. <laughs> then it looked like she was going to lose it, but then she got back into it again. Well done, Jasmine. Seven, ten. There's that side spin backhand again. Mm. This time, Jasmine read the spin. Back to 10-8. Interesting return of serve there from Tintin. Not, not afraid to lift the ball. So serving with the smooth side. There's a twiddle. Forehand. In the game, with the short pimple. That's enough. 11 At this stage, probably a lot more maintaining, okay. maintaining it ready for, for these matches. To carry them through the big days Definitely. and the big events. It's been a, yeah, a long and tough day for both of them already. With hopefully their best yet to come. Definitely. Yeah, they don't want to be flagging physically at a time like this. This is where they want to be peaking. So all of that, all of those hours of training comes together so that they're strong at a time like this. Love two. Tintin off to a good start again. Oh, Jasmine served in the net. Went for the fast one. So three love down. 
served off again. Hold oh up. dear. Yeah, she's. I think she's just starting to rush a little bit. I think compared to Emily's match, looks a lot more nervous in this this one, making those sort of those errors. Yeah, she just lost no, her focus no. slightly, and Tintin will just pinch those whenever they're available. Yeah, definitely, and I think not having a coach in the corner sometimes it's is great. Also, obviously from the coach's point of view, Lost sometimes it. they pick up on, on other bits as well. So very different to the semi final that she played. Yeah. So she's got to fight to get back into it and she will. Love seven. Bit of head scratching. Mm. Best of seven. So it's not the last game. Tintin hasn't missed a thing. Almost looks like Jasmine needs to keep it a little bit tighter. The moment Tins is getting in off those those serves and it's causing a lot of troubles for Jasmine. Nine love. Yeah. She used the long push to mm. wanting to counter off Tintin's topspin, but look at the way that Tintin followed it up. Yeah. That's the next level, isn't it? Mm. And, um, Jasmine's having to learn this the hard One way, nine. but that's sometimes the only way you can to really, really understand what you need to do. Yeah, definitely. Is to realise what you're, what you're faced with. Ah, oh, fantastic on their tins. Yeah. Tintin's just the technical efficiency of mm. what Tintin's doing is fantastic. Like a locomotive train at the moment. Another big one. Oh, right, that was okay. wonderful. 11 1. Oh. Okay. Wrong to serve. Love all. Three games to love to Tintin. First of four. Let's see if Jasmine can love get one. into this one. Whatever happens, it's been a great tournament for Jasmine. <laughs> Two love. No points from her serve. Just off the end. Three love. A little bit of disappointment in the body language in between rallies. Yeah, I think she, she came into sort of the singles event. Obviously, she was under 21 champion. Unfortunately, she didn't get that title this year. So I think she's really come in to to prove probably to herself as well that she can kind of bounce back and, and be competing in the in the next events. But yeah, I think here Tins is she's yeah, she's not really done anything wrong in in, in the sets. Um nice and calm and yeah, it's it's that sort of next step for Jasmine now. Yeah. Yeah, good point about the under twenty ones because the under twenty one champion this year, Tiana Yu. Yes, yeah. Tiana just 16 years of age. 4-2. Yeah, I think Jasmine just struggling to get the pace of the rally changed to stop Tintin getting into a natural rhythm. Yeah, and I mean, it's very tough when that forehand from Tintin is, is coming at you as well, so... 4-3. Yeah. Five. That's really nice from Tintin. Mm. Backhand down the line and then able to rotate the body and the wrist to go across court wide on the follow up. Really nice work. Three. Three six. Oh. Fast serve from Jasmine. Six four. She's back in it at six mm. four. She'll be, be pleased enough with this game, yeah. I think. <laughs> Seven four. 
she just can't help playing a game that Tintin quite likes. Yeah. Is that fair to say, do you yeah, think? Yeah, definitely. I think yeah, both, both of them are, are serving a little bit longer, a little bit looser now, um, both looking to Five get seven. in. Um, but I think at the moment, Tins is, is sort of following up with that that next yeah. ball, whereas Jasmine is yeah taking a little bit of a back seat for it. Yeah, so somewhere Jasmine's going to need a little bit of variation just to break down the rhythm. Otherwise, Tintin's just going to look too right, comfortable, eight. and she's been there. She's trained against it, against the yeah. robot, the multi-ball international players. So Jasmine just needs a new dimension now. Mm. Good get from Tintin oh, off the nine, net. Brilliant. Five. Jasmine hit the top of the net. Tintin recovered it just there. Beautiful recovery, followed by a forehand smash. And I said to one of her opponents, what's, you know, what's it like to, to, to play against that? She said, it's as flat as a pancake. Mm. It is. <laughs> so nine, you, have to use, you have to get the p timing of your legs perfect just to lift it a little yeah. bit. Two points from a sixth um, national women's <laughs> title. Six ten. Match point. Six ten. Four to save. Can Jasmine save one? Yes, she can. Seven ten. Championship point number two. Jasmine spins up, yeah. Ten, well done, Jasmine. Two off your serve, that's good. So 10-8, Tintin serving. Two championship points left. And there's a timeout. Mm. Yeah, pro I think, yeah, Charles has called the timeout <laughs> probably just to give Tintin a few, few more pointers just before hopefully she can uh, get that sixth title under her belt. What a support he's been to Tintin's career over the last, well, more than 15 years. Eh? Yeah, definitely. He's uh, been in the corner many times. You see him with the, with his clipboard and then all the notes that he's got on the players. And, and yeah, I think it gives it gives that more analytical aspect for, for the game. Yeah. They understand each other absolutely implicitly. Mm -hmm. So Tintin will take that information, digest it, and then decide for herself what she's going to make mm. of it. Championship point. Ten eight. Jasmine, you need these two. <laughs> Game. And one's Ten enough. Eleven eight. Championship point. To Tintin, six times women's clock. champion. Thank you, Evie. Thank you very and much. And back to you, Andy, down on the floor. Thank you. Confirmation of victory to Tintin Ho, of course, retaining her title 4 0, 11 4, 11 8, 11 1, and 11 8. Once again, our uh, national champion, Tintin Ho, but let's get the applause going as well for Jasmine Wong. Jasmine, not to be today with two final defeats, but what can you take from your final day experience? Um, it's definitely been a good experience playing in this crowd. Um, so, yeah, very happy to be in the finals day. Uh, hopefully it'll be the same next year. But yeah, Tintin played very well, so uh, credit to her. <laughs> your semi-final defeat of Emily was, was uh, obviously a big performance by you though. So what, what can you take from that going forward? Yeah, I think tactically I played quite well. Uh, so, yeah, just sticking to the plan was, yeah, pretty good. Uh, what's it like playing with Mari? You, you get on really well. You're great mates, aren't you? Playing doubles together. You beat her in the singles, so you've got the bragging rights, I guess. Well, we both played very well. And, yeah, as you said, we, we pretty much spent every day with each other. So, <laughs> we're inseparable. <laughs> 
Well, we hope to see you back at finals day again next year. Our silver medalist is Jasmine Wong. Tintin, congratulations. National Women's Singles title number six. How does this one feel? Um, yeah, very happy. And it's the first time I won all three events as well. Um, every year there seems to be something <laughs> that I lose in. So I'm very happy. And each year it's really hard to win. So I'm happy with my mentality this year. Well, I think that deserves a round of applause for all three titles. <laughs> Quite a, a dominant performance in the final. But I must ask you about the semi, because that was very different. I don't think I've ever seen you so relieved as when you won it. So what was that like? Um, yeah, it was really a tough match. I was ready for it to be a tough, tough match. Um, but yeah, I'm just happy I could get over it, because I was leading quite a bit. So yeah, I was quite relieved. <laughs> were, you, were you surprised by Tia's level? Uh, no, I, knew, I, knew, I know that she's very good. So I think I was well prepared for um, her. And yeah, it's good that she's playing nationals. And yeah. <laughs> She'll probably be gunning for you next year, actually. What do you think she can go on and achieve? She is only 16. Yeah, it's really good to have her in the team now. And yeah, I'm sure she'll be gunning for me next year, but it is, it's great to have her here. Well, hold her off for at least one more year, because if you win next year, you go level at the top. Number seven would be level with the great Jill Parker. So how do you feel about that? Um, yeah, just focus one match at a time, but obviously it would be an honor to do that, yeah. <laughs> Well, we'll have to wait for next year to see that. But our champion this year, Tintin Ho!